These are the 12 position areas we're trying to bring the cue into from this one single shot and keep in mind in pool you're not always hitting the center of the pocket, sometimes you're hitting too thin or too thick and this of course changes the cue ball's path. Now this is the first position we're trying to get into and I want you to pause the video right now and think about it yourself how you would get into this position zone. Believe it or not, it's actually very simple. All we have to do is a center ball hit and then we just have to hit the right speed. As you can see, the cue ball will travel long rail, long rail, maybe we'll hit the short rail as you can see here and end perfectly in that position zone. To get into this position zone, all we have to do is hit center ball again, but we're just adding a tiny tiny bit of left spin and this will shallow the angle on the first rail and as you can see we're going long rail, long rail and then we end perfectly in that position zone with the right speed of course. But of course in pool there are always more options to get to a certain point on the table so this time we're using outside spin and I actually prefer this shot because outside spin is a bit easier to judge. You see, three rails and perfectly again into that position zone with the right speed again. Yes, there is another option. This time we are adding maximum left spin. As you can see, the angle shallows on the first rail. And on the second rail, the angle opens again because the spin of course reverses. Have a look at that again. On the first rail, you see we have left spin, so the angle is shallowed. Second rail, we still have left spin, so the angle gets opened again. And we end up perfectly in that position zone again. To get into this position zone on the table, all we have to do is hit high on the cue ball and this time we're adding just a tiny bit of left spin. It will still shallow the angle on the first rail, but it's not that much spin so the cue ball won't reverse on the second rail and we get nicely into that position zone. Well, one option could be to hit low left and hit really really soft, but on my table this doesn't work because my cloth is just too fast. As you can see here, I could have hidden a bit softer, but the cue ball still has a lot of energy on it, so with slow cloth this works, but don't worry, I have another option for you. We are going around the wall, this means we're hitting low on the cue ball and a touch of right spin, and then we just need the right speed and we're going from the long rail to the short rail, to the long rail and then nicely into that position zone. Of course, speed is a factor, but we're a really long time in that position zone. This is almost identical to the previous shot. All we have to do is add more right spin because more right spin helps us to get further away from the corner pocket as you can see right here. And that way we get nicely into our new position zone. Again, this shot is almost identical to the previous one. All we have to do is just hit a bit harder and now we're trying to get again closer to the corner pocket as you can see. And with the right speed we will end in that position zone. Here I just hit a tiny bit too hard. Now before we try to get into that zone, let's try to get into this zone first. One option to get into this position zone is adding a bit of right spin, a tiny bit above center and then we're going two rails into that position zone. By the way, if you're adding more right spin or hitting a bit lower on the cue ball, you can go three rails, this means you will hit the short rail as well. Another option is to go maximum low right and just go one rail into this position zone. However, I wouldn't recommend this shot. You have to hit really soft and still get a lot of backwards rotation and right spin on the cue ball. So it's a very delicate shot, very difficult to judge so I wouldn't recommend it if you have another option to get into this zone. To get into this zone is actually very easy, all we have to do is add right spin on the cue ball. And the advantage of this shot is that we don't have to manipulate a lot. We're just supporting the natural path of the cue ball with that outside spin, so a very natural shot to play. And here of course, I'm sure that wasn't that hard to figure out, all we have to do is add less right spin now. So again, we're just supporting the natural path of the cue ball, but not with that much right spin. So the cue ball comes towards this line and ends up nicely in the position area.
Don't turn off yet, yes I know, this is very obvious right now, here we just have to hit high on the cue ball and maybe even a center ball, which also works, depends on how thick or thin you're hitting. But now we're getting closer to a very very difficult position on the table, which is the last position zone or the two last position zone. To get into here, all we have to do is add maximum inside spin and just hit very very soft. That way you can see how much the angle shallows now and we will end up nicely in this position area. But there is one more option to come, can you figure out how this works? Ok, let's have a look, we're just adding a tiny bit of right spin here. You can see the GoPro is a bit wild this time because I really had to power that ball. As you can see, tiny bit of right spin, center ball and we're going all around the world and ending in this position zone. Let's have a look once again, but I would definitely not choose this option because it's really really difficult to judge. Now the most difficult position zone on a table, could you figure out how to get there? Well, first of all, we're just cheating a bit. We're playing the bank shot with inside spin, so this way it's very easy to get into this position zone. And this is actually my favorite option, but there is another option. We're playing the same shot as before where we got into the previous position zone and we really have to power the cue ball again. You can see the cue ball goes wild, it even jumps a bit and we end up in this position zone. But this is really difficult, so it's a very very hard shot and you will get a lot of different results all the time. On my shot before where we ended in the previous position for example, I was actually trying to get into this position zone. Some would argue that you maybe could use inside spin and the cue ball reverses on that second rail. Yes this works, but not on every table, so this shot is really dependent on the right table. And believe me, when I was doing this uh, video and was recording all of this, my arm really hurt just because of this last position zone. So maybe play the bank if you're trying to get into this position zone. Ok, let's compare those two shots here that you're seeing right now. And the interesting thing is that we were hitting both of those shots with maximum left spin, so it was the same contact point on the cue ball. But as you can see, speed changes really a lot. One time we end up in this position zone, the second time the cue ball reverses and ends on this position zone. So you have to understand that speed is a huge factor in position play and how the cue ball moves around the table, so this makes a huge difference. You know what also makes a huge difference? If you subscribe to this channel because then you will improve your game. Alright guys, if you enjoyed this video, leave a thumbs up. Thanks for watching guys and as always, see you at the next lesson. Take care.